The most convenient way to access element in array or list is by using the indexing syntax. The syntax lets you to access any value directly by using its index inside square bracket. So we are working on a mutable list and it contains two elements one and two of type string okay now let's index and try to access the, these elements i will create a print print ln i put here first element and I try to, to put here the mutable data, mutable list dot, not dot, we are not going to make the first or we are going to uh, use the, ind the index. So we are going, first of all, I will remove them not to be confused. And later on, I will add it. I put, to use indexing, I will put the name of the list and inside a square bracket, okay, I put the index. As I told you, in Java and Kotlin, the, the numbering and the indexing start from zero. So the first element inside the mutable list called one have an index zero. So I need to access this element. I specify the index here. Let's run and see if it is printing the last one. And here we go. It is the first one is printing and it's called one. So the element one is accessed. Let me add some data to the three. If I need to access the third element, zero, one, two, and three. So this is the third element, but it is an index two. So I need not to put three, I need to put the two. Okay, so two means the third element. So let's run and see if it changed from one to three. And here we go, we have three, okay? This is how we uh, use the index to, uh, to access the elements. Because arrays and lists are zero indexed, you use the zero to fetch the first object. The indexing syntax is equivalent to calling get method on array or list and passing in the index as an argument. Another way of making this, I need to get the element so I put here the mutable list one and despite putting here the index I can put dot and I call the method called get and I specify the index which is uh, like one which is a second element inside the method which is the list which is two let's run and see and here we go. This is the second element inside the array of, uh, of the or the list. And we are going to use the get. So we have used uh, the properties and the methods first and last to get the first element and the last element. We have used the indexing by putting it inside angle brackets. And we have accessed the element by using the get method so we specify also the index inside the brackets, okay? This is, this is how we uh, work and access with the elements. Now, we are going to use the range for slicing. You can use the slice method with the ranges to fetch more than single value from an array or list. As I told you, 
this for the list is applicable for the array so we can specify all of these data inside uh, and all of these methods we can perform them inside the arrays but we are preferring to work with the list to be clarified okay so if i need to slice i will put here slicing val uh slice sliced equal to mutable data or mutable list dot slice you see guys this is the this is the method and it will return the indices in iterable and we will learn about iterable in the next videos so if i need to slice the range from one to th three and then print ln sliced. Let's run and see. And you see guys that we have sliced the elements from one to three included. This is the range. You remember the range? So we are using and slicing putting them inside a variable called sliced and we have started from one two and three so we have three values and here we go two three four okay this is how we work with slicing and it is um, it's a good method but we, it is uh, not we are not going to use it many and frequently Okay. Now we are going to check for an element. 